The Trans-Saharan trade was a network of trade routes that connected Sub-Saharan Africa with the Mediterranean world from the 8th century to the 16th century. This trade route was one of the most significant cultural and economic interactions in world history. It was a critical source of wealth for West Africa and a significant factor in the growth of the Islamic religion in the region. The Trans-Saharan trade played a vital role in shaping the cultures and economies of both North and West Africa. The Trans-Saharan trade began in the 8th century when Arab and Berber merchants began to cross the Sahara Desert in search of gold, slaves, and other valuable goods. The trade route stretched from the Mediterranean coast to the Sahel region of West Africa, covering over 6,000 kilometers. Merchants traveled in caravans that could consist of up to 10,000 camels, horses, and donkeys. These caravans were necessary to transport goods across the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert. The Trans-Saharan trade was driven by the demand for gold, which was abundant in West Africa. Gold was highly valued in the Islamic world, where it was used to make coins and jewelry. The trade also involved the exchange of other valuable goods, such as ivory, slaves, salt, and textiles. The trade was facilitated by the growth of Islam in North Africa, which provided a common language and religion for traders. The trade routes of the Trans-Saharan trade were diverse and complex, and they changed over time. The routes varied depending on the political and economic conditions of the region. Some routes followed the Niger River, while others followed the western coast of Africa. The most important trade cities were located in the Sahel region, including Timbuktu, Gao, and Jen. The city of Timbuktu was a significant center of trade and learning in West Africa. It was a hub for the trade of gold, salt, and other goods, and it was also home to some of the world's oldest universities. These universities were centers of Islamic learning, where scholars from across the Islamic world came to study and teach. The Trans-Saharan trade had a significant impact on the cultures and economies of West and North Africa. It facilitated the spread of Islam throughout the region and helped to create a cultural and intellectual exchange between West Africa and the Islamic world. It also helped to create a rich and diverse cultural heritage in the region, which is still celebrated today. The trade was not without its risks. The harsh conditions of the Sahara Desert made travel difficult, and caravans were often attacked by bandits and raiders. The trade also led to the enslavement of many Africans, who were captured and sold into slavery. Despite these risks, the trade continued to thrive for centuries. The Trans-Saharan trade declined in the 16th century with the arrival of European traders and the development of sea trade routes. European traders were able to offer goods at lower prices than the Arab and Berber merchants, and they were also able to offer new and exotic goods, such as spices and silk. This led to a decline in the demand for goods from West Africa, and the trade routes of the Trans-Saharan trade gradually fell into disuse. Today, the legacy of the Trans-Saharan trade can still be seen in the cultures and economies of West and North Africa. The trade played a critical role in shaping the region's history and creating a cultural exchange between Africa and the Islamic world. It also helped to create a rich and diverse cultural heritage in the region, which is still celebrated today.